David Bryan and uh, have Kitty McTeague with me, but I'm going to kick it off to start by myself. Uh, doing some all original music tonight. This is called A New Horizon. A little less guitar in the monitor, please. You're the first crowd I've played for since March of 2020. Yeah. February. I know everyone's in the same boat, so we made it. Yeah. Don't forget those who didn't. 
really? Yeah. Can pick up the pace a little bit. This is called barnyard bands.
Now wouldn't it be lovely If things would just turn out that way songs to like, you know, four people dancing in the front, and then there's like people in the back just talking and drinking. Like, and great. the band was great! Love it! The band was great! Okay, this is called Silence and Tears, and the lyrics from this were written by Lord Byron.
about a guy who just can't stay out of jail. And uh, if he's watching tonight, this one's for Tommy Red Floster.
Shout out Uncle Jack. Shout out. Big on Jack. Big on. So we call him. No, no. Woo, nobody is hot. It sure is hot, yes. Lost my job as a result of the pandemic, as Ooh. many people did. Job of 12 years. Ooh. Still looking. In the meantime, I've tried to uh, make good use of my free time. Um, I, I moved to New York to go to graduate school and finished graduate school. I was back in uh, 2003. Oh boy. Finished graduate school and I was like, okay, universe, now what? And uh, the universe was like, you're going to be a musician. So uh, I'm a choral singer, actually, um, by trade. So I ended up singing with, you know, the best choral groups in town and the worst, worst choral groups in town. Uh, we got paid for it either way. Um, and what else? I didn't, I didn't make really good use of my time. I had a lot of free time because I was a professional musician. So I did not make good use of my free time. So it started to go a little crazy. And uh, this... <laughs> and I'm writing this song about that time in my life. This is called Idle Jane. It's about what happens to you if you don't make good use of your time. They say idleness is the devil's playground. your touch with reality and you'll go crazy dilly dally hazy cause nothing makes sense anymore so just take your time don't you hurry in a flurry of worry someday you may even score well poor little Jane she just can't seem to find any substantial gainful employment So she spends all her time Scheming up nefarious ways To depose and destroy the government She says if we all just refuse To pay our taxes And pick up our axes and guns We'll storm them at dawn As they yawn upon waking To find a revolution already begun Thank you. 
How many more do we have time for? One more time? Two. Two more? Oh, speaking of, uh, so we, we have a Grateful Dead band. It's called David, Brian, and Friends. You can find us uh, everywhere, YouTube and Facebook and all that. But we're playing in two weeks on Friday, July 23rd, uh, 10 p.m., playing at Club 45 at Connolly's in Midtown Manhattan. So come on out if you can. Check us out online. Give us a look. It's a full electric band. It's a great fucking full band. Full electric band. It's a great band. Featuring that guy band. on yeah. percussion. Roger. It's a great Roger band. Roger. It's a great band. <laughs> We like the Grateful Dead comes as a band. It's a great band. It's my favorite band. Come check it out. It, it'll, be a, it'll be an in-between reckoning uh, and uh, dead set type of night. I can tell you. song about going crazy to a song about getting old. Uh, I don't know if you ever find yourself putting things in the most random places, you know, it's like you go to the shoe drawer and you pull it out and the remote control's in there or uh, whatever, you know, it's like, how did that get up there? So anyway, this is called Mustard Brain. That's because that's I'm high, man. Oh, 
couple chords in that. I can tell. <laughs> All right. You guys have been an amazing crowd. Yo. Happy to come out on the 23rd. Uh, here at the Grateful Dead thing. Um, that's for two hours, 10 to midnight, Friday, July 23rd. So, um, I'm going to close on, a, on a, what I call a political parody song. Uh, this, I wrote this last year when the whole mask debate was happening back and forth and all that stuff. And we started, you know, we lost some great musicians and we lost politicians and we lost like, a lot of people. I mean, Jesus, we lost a lot of people. Anyway, um, as Chad with the, is the is the guy from the other band here. Uh, we were chatting back there and he's like, Tom. Tom. <laughs> and uh, he, he's, he, he looked us up online because he was curious who was playing after them. And he found this song that I wrote, and he's like, I said that same thing. He came up with the same lyric, uh, the first lyric at least. It said, uh, Herman Cain is the name. So it's a political parody, and uh, the song is called The Night the Grim Reaper Came to Town. And uh, this is meant in no way to disrespect Herman Cain. It's to bring to light the fact that because of really poor political decisions and bad communication in this country, we lost a lot of people. And uh, one of them was Herman Cain. So... Anyway, this is based on The Night They Drew Old Dixie Down by the band.
That's it. Thank you very much. I'm Darren Bryan, Kitty McTeague. And uh, thanks again to uh, Blind Pete and the Space Cadets. Woo! Let's do it again, man. And uh, I, don't, I don't know who's up next. I'm sorry. I'm a terrible musician. Stop! Don't worry. The Rebel. The Rebel. Rebel. Stay tuned for The Rebel. Woo! Turn that off. <laughs> oh, God, I already did it.